Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Mike Colleen at MikeColleen.com. Um, this video hopefully will be a healing video and I think you're going to learn something from it, um, from both the first and the second part, okay? So we're going to talk about why, why, why it's so hard for some people to transition and heal. Now you might think, well, healing is good. It is good. It's not necessarily the, the pain that you go through. It's just the change. People are, a lot of people are terrified of change. They don't want to change. Some people hold on tooth and nail and you'll see them 10, 15, 20 years later. And you're like, man, you haven't changed at all. <laughs> okay. In other words, you haven't grown. And so the thing about it is, though, when you grow, you get advantages in, in life. If you don't grow, if you cling to the past and the way it was and the way you've always been, you don't learn, you don't develop, you don't grow. You could even go to college and get a degree or even two degrees or three degrees. If you don't grow, grow as a person, that's pretty much useless information. Now you have a tool to make money. But you could amplify that tool to make money if you yourself had expanded. And right there is what this video is about. If you've noticed the last few videos, I've been talking about healing, about how do you deal with this stress, this fear of, of expanding, of changing. All right. So I was watching a video just the other day of Jordan Peterson. I believe it was from a long time ago or a recording of his from a long time ago because he had a different beard and it just, it looked different. Anyways, he made one thing. There was, there was showing a, a video on YouTube where there was like this, uh, this plane or bird, bird's eye view and they're looking down at the beautiful trees. And then they got to like this city area that was kind of compacted in. And right then Jordan was talking about <clears throat> how people who are finite can't handle the infinite or infinite, meaning the expansion, the awareness, okay? Because it's like they have this safe little world. It's all boxed in. They're in this little little thing. We, you know, but we all do this to some extent. Some of us, for some reason, change a lot. I change a lot. I've changed a lot in the last three months. Like. I, I can tell by watching my videos and the videos that I've been making the last three days. That's why I've been making them so much because I'm different and I think it's cool. I'm looking at myself. <laughs> and so he was talking about these people are infinite or not infinite, but finite, meaning they're, they're holding on to these limiting beliefs and limiting view of, of the world and possibilities. The thing is like every time you expand open, even if it's a little tiny bit, it is uncomfortable. And that uncomfortableness can cause stress. And then you fighting the change will cause even more stress. It's like, oh my God, you know, it's like you're going through birth, kicking, screaming. They're like, no, I don't want to go, right? That kind of a thing. Kind of like your first day of kindergarten when your mom and dad are starting to say, okay, we're leaving now. You're like, what? No, that's going to happen, man. <laughs> and so the thing is, you're going to be all right, okay? I think this is important. All right, let me, I'm going to write this word down because I, 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 it's important. When I was a very young kid, um, I knew that I wasn't going to die. I don't mean my body. I mean my spirit, my energy, my flesh. Or not, sorry, not my, not my flesh. My spirit, my soul. And I was very tuned in. I was very aware of it. I remember I said it to... Uh, my uncle and I think his kids were there. And I forget what he said, but I said, oh, I'll never die. And he goes, oh, everybody dies. That's just, you know, you're just crazy. And you know, all that shit. I'm like, and here's a guy who was a Christian. I'm like, well, have you read the Bible? <laughs> Listen to the teachings of Jesus? But it's, it didn't come from a religious Christian thing for me. It was something I just felt. And as I've grown through life, as I've gone through a lot of spiritual awakenings and Dark, dark, dark soul. How do they say that? God, I don't know why I can't get these words right. Dark night of the soul and the tower collapses. You really think you're going to die. You really, really do. But you don't. <laughs> and you have this anxiety and you curl up under your pillow and your covers. And, and the thing is, you're always okay. 
there's something in NLP we call parts integration. And I think this is important. So at one point in time, there was God. Just imagine this ball of energy, God. That's it, nothing else. Everything was God. One, oneness, wholeness, complete. Not God and a part. So what happened, one of the beliefs is that we are parts of God, all of us, billions of people on the planet, and even animals, and probably other galaxies and solar systems, etc. But we're, we are finite parts of God because, okay, when God was one, God didn't know that God existed because there was nothing to reflect back from. There was nothing to show contrast. See, you don't know something's hot if there isn't cold. You don't know loud if there's not quiet. You don't know light if there's not darkness. You don't know darkness if there's not light. Right? So what God did was he broke off a part. And now it's like God could experience himself. Another belief is that we are all parts of God, right? And that God is living through us. So whatever experiences we're having, God's just going, whoa, what's it? It's like going to the movies. This is a horror movie. This is a movie on this wonderful family that overcomes this thing and has a wonderful achievement. And then there's this athlete that's fighting to win the championships and he's a high school or college athlete and his girlfriend cheats on him and gets upset at him and rawr. And then there's another one where it's just this wonderful movie, this peaceful movie. So there's all kinds of movies about everything in life. And what they're saying about God is that God, that each and every one of us is living this radically different experience. Even if we're the same twins, born in the same family, same house, same mother, same father, same everything, we're still having radically different experiences because we view, see, hear, you know, experience the world through different filters. And so God is like experiencing all these experiences like when we go to different movies. Well, today we're going to go to a, a, a an NBA basketball game. Well, today we're going to go to the football game. Well, today we're going to go see a play. Today we're going to, tonight we're going to go listen to the opera. Today we're going to play chess. Tomorrow we're going to go play football. You know, it's like it's different experiences in life. So the ultimate goal is to begin to integrate in within ourselves to find our, our, our peace. All right. So whenever you integrate that part of you starts to realize like, Oh, I'm not the core. And it freaks out because it believed that it was you when it's not. And then when it starts to see that, Whoa, there's this much grander expansion of, of who I really am. It can be overwhelming. So people that are in the finite are in the, those parts. It's not the core of them. And these are people that can be very religious, not just religion, but it could be people that uh, do sports or fix cars in a certain way or, or do a certain diet. They're very religious about this diet and they're just manic and everyone's got to do it. You know, whether it's a diet or like, I'm trying to think, I, I knew this guy that was an AA guy and he went to all these meetings, all he did, he went to work with these meetings constantly. He, on the weekends, he'd go to three or four different meetings. I'm like, how long have you been doing this, man? He's oh, about 20 years. I'm like, oh my God. So, but that was his religion. That was his thing. And he did not. So at the time I was really into Tony Robbins and he didn't want to hear about it because, because it would, it shook the foundation of everything that he believed. It's like, how do I explain it? It's not just people with addictions. It's people with fear. It's people with anything. We tend to grab onto something. We hold on to it. And we think this is everything when it's not. It's just a part of something. When you grab onto something else and then include it, and another thing you include, include it, you become more powerful. The challenge with most people is they don't want to be awake. So when you cling to something religiously, whether it's a religion or a 12 step program, which becomes a religion or, 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 or anything, a diet, even I, I know people sincerely, respectfully, who are these diet nuts in there? Like, no, that diet's crazy. But this one, this is the one that everyone's going to be on. And I was like, holy shit, man. So my whole thing was I would try one diet, see what works. But, but, but I will really commit to it, like, for about two, three, four years and learn it. And then I'll try on another one and be like, yeah, this works. 
this doesn't work, that works, I can add this to that. And you start picking and choosing what works for you. So then life becomes like a creative artwork. You begin to paint your own picture, all right? The challenge with people that cling to things are very finite. And the mere thought of pointing something out that's even in their own religious books, that their own, we'll use Christ in this sense, that this is what Christ literally said and literally did. They're like, no, I don't want to hear that. But, but this is your religion. Ah! Right? So what am I trying to say? How do I say this? Expanding is scary. Becoming more of who you already are is scary. Realizing that you're more than who you're being right now can be scary. I remember in my, oh God, I was probably 21 years old, my first Tony Robbins seminar. He was talking about how here's your circle, you know, he drew a circle and this is your circle of influence, right? But you want that, you want that BMW or Mercedes Benz or Porsche and that means you got to find a way to make more money. That means you might have to develop more skills. That means you might have to learn new things. That means, and this is what it usually means, you are gonna to have to change as a person. Not just learn sales skills or, or, a, or a new job or go to college, get a, a bit better degree, but usually you have to change something inside of who you are. And that's fucking scary. And here we are, empaths, light workers, Shifting in ways that the average human being couldn't even imagine. And it's scary, isn't it? And this is where the word faith comes in. A lot of people throw that word around, don't even know what it means. Faith literally means knowing this, this, the first part scratch this. It's going to lead me to the second part. Knowing everything's going to be okay. Here it is. And then going with it with without kicking and screaming along the way. Because the kicking and screaming and fighting, it's like you're trying to hold the door open. That door is coming open, dude. It's like you just you you're just ter you're terrifying yourself. That's what faith is. Faith means let go. It's okay. You're gonna be fine. Go with the flow. And a lot of times when I heal some of my clearings. I am curled up in bed and I'm going, oh my God, this fucking sucks. And then the art of it is just, it's like, like usually my belly, for me, my belly tightens up or my, even my neck and my shoulder. It might be different for you. It might be your thighs, your legs or your lower back, or your upper back. But for me, it's my belly mostly. It just like tightens up and, like, and then I was like, okay, Mike, do your breathing. Just let it go, let it go. And then it's like, it's literally like, it's literally like a zit. At the top, it's, it's clogged, right? And when you clear the debris, it hits, it's gross, but then it comes out. And then it's like, oh, that's faith. Letting go so the energy can move, it literally moves through. I remember hearing this from energy, I was going, what the fuck, what moves through? What are you talking about? It's this energy that's been concentrated because you've been holding it down, you've crystallized, you've crystallized the energy. When you release it, 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 it it's like, when you take sugar or Kool-Aid or salt and let it go into warm water, then it dissolves and it releases. And then you can relax. Let me tell you this story. I'll help you understand something. This is part two. I remember I went to a therapist. My sister said, you got to go see her just one time. I'm like, yeah, okay, whatever. Like, you know, she's really insistent. And she had said something. Now, my sister had talked to her quite a bit, apparently. And the therapist had said, Michael, is there any time, has there ever been any time in your family's life, because I think at the time I was only about 20, when everything was fine, your mother had the bills paid, there's extra money in savings, uh, the car was working fine, there's plenty of food, nobody got in trouble at school, everyone's grades were good. I was like, well, yeah, of course. I mean, we, we of course we've had times like that. And she goes, well, what would happen? And I'm like, well, what do you mean? She goes, well, imagine everything's calm, everything's peaceful. Then what? I was like, 
Oh, my mom. And this isn't, I'm not hating right now. I'm just trying to help you. This really helped me understand something. Like, oh, my mom would create some kind of chaos. She goes, yes. And I go, why? She goes, because even though your mom, this, okay, this is what I'm saying. This is the point of the video. Even though you want out of this, this, this circle of hell, this chaos, and you're like, ah, I don't want this no more. When you finally expand open to that level of peace. So she goes, even though she might want a peaceful life and maybe even more prosperity, more money. When she finally gets there, she freaks out because she doesn't know how to deal with that on that level. And even though she doesn't like the chaos and the trouble and the problems, she knows how to deal with those issues on that level. And that's what Tony Robbins was saying with this, your circle of influence within this circle, you have influence and you can handle stuff and you can deal with stuff. But the minute you expand, you're going, ah, because now you have to learn, you have to change, you have to develop and, and it's uncomfortable. It's terrifying for a lot of people. So this is something that narcissists do. And this is what's going on. Okay, this is what's going on in the world right now. You know how I say something on this level and then it's this level and it's on the world level, the university. It's literally in the universe level. Is the light starting to shine? More and more people are starting to see the truth, which is a good thing. More and more people are, they're starting to just calm down, just not getting caught up in all the bullshit, all the drama from the TV shows and all the news media bullshit, and it is bullshit. Those other people called narcissists, they don't like that. They're just like, no. And this was part of my notes is narcissists, the, the narcissists cannot handle calm at all because then their issues come up and they're like, no, I don't want to deal with that. And that's why they are the masters of distraction. They'll do drugs. They'll do alcohol. They'll date and date and date. They'll get on social media. They'll be on the cell phones, texting constantly. And, you know, it's like they don't stop. But you're better than that. Learn how to stop. Learn how to relax yourself and realize you are going to be much better off when you expand to the next level because now you have a greater level of influence and you can handle more things and your life actually does become better. Hey, this is Mike Colleen at MikeColleen.com. God bless all you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Enjoy.